Hi guys, here we are now. We're just going to do a quick video on hand feeding. Now, one of the reasons I hand feed is it helps establish a bond with a new dog or a new puppy. So it wouldn't matter if it was a young puppy or an older dog, I would hand feed. And I'd do that for at least four weeks, depending on the dog, sometimes longer. Now the reason being is it establishes a bond very quickly and it begins to build trust and that's super important to be able to do this um, have this with your dog um, it makes everything so much easier you need this dog trusting you you need a good bond to be able to train and work with a dog so it's really important also it helps prevent resource guarding or helps train it out Mia for instance was resource guarding food and her crate or an out outdoor kennel at three weeks old so she was doing that very young and so it's really important that i make sure this doesn't become an established thing and i get onto it very quickly so the other thing i do with hand feeding is i, I implement a nothing in life is free protocol so this dog has to has to earn everything so she's got to do things for me to get fed and that's really important so she works for me and her reward is the food more than she works for the food and that makes a huge difference later on so you often see a lot of people say oh my dog won't do anything for me unless i've got treats if you if you teach your dog to work for you that makes a huge difference so food is a reward for working for you not food is the reason they'll work for you so she's getting fed four times a day now part of that will be hand feeding like this and i'll just get her to i'll, I'll use it like a lure and little things like that i'll teach bite inhibition as it's going so if she touches ah good if she puts teeth on skin she gets corrected one of the few things i correct a puppy this young for and so hand feeding is also a training tool so it'll get used for training part of it will get used for training Part of it is just luring like this and bite inhibition. Another part, of course, is rewards for things like potty training. And, of course, for crate training. So I'll use this to help her see that the crate is a good, fun place. And I'll also hand feed her in the crate. So part of each meal will get used for that and we'll show you that. And the reason, again, is purely it does help a little bit with crate getting her used to being in the crate because she's getting good things in the crate but the main reason i'm going to be hand feeding in the crate will be to help prevent and get rid of resource guarding um, and in her case it's both food and space so we'll be doing that so in a moment we'll um, go inside and we'll show you what i do in the crate as well um, but like I said, this is used for everything. So I use it, I use it for luring and for training. Good. And so just the luring is just, you know, getting her to follow the food. Sit. Good girl. And for a little bit of training. Yes. Good girl. Down. Yes, good girl. And so it's used for all those things. So everything that she gets, she earns. She does something for, even if it's calm behavior. So she's sitting there, laying there nice and calm now. Once she ignores me, she'll get a morsel. And that just is for her being calm. So she'll get that. And of course, things like Mia. Yes. She'll get it for standard training, whatever that happens to be. Okay, we'll see you inside and we'll show you a bit on the crate. Yep. Good girl. So here I'll just hand feed a portion of the meal in through the crate wise. This gets her used to having me next to the crate and around the crate. And she sees that good things happen when people are around the crate. So again, she's less likely to guard. A, le a lot of people and trainers say feed the dog in the crate, in a bowl. I always say never do that because you run the risk that the dog will resource guard. Feed the dog by hand through the crate wire. 
Yes, it takes a little longer, but you're building so many things at once here. All right, we're just not building here that there's good things in the crate. We're building a relationship with the dog. We're building trust. We're building a bond. We're protecting against resource guarding or helping to eliminate it. Good girl. Yes. And again, I can help do this. I can help control the environment and everything around it. So I'm also building calmness here. So again, it's all about stack training. I, I talk about stack training in other videos and it's so important that I might be working on one thing, this is feeding, but at the same time, I'm working on so many other things all stacked around that. A lot of them are never spoken, a lot of them are never said, but they're all there and the dog is learning these things and, and she's learning them as default behaviors and that's really important. All right, we'll be back and I'll show you about having feeding uh, with the door open as well. Okay, so I'll also do some pieces of food just with the crate open as well. And it just gives her a slightly different view of, of the whole thing. And it just broadens her experience with the hand feeding. And so she'll just get some pieces like this. Again, she'll need to stay calm. Again, I'll correct any contact with the fingers. So bite inhibition will be trained. Ah! Just like that. Good girl. Yes. So sometimes I make sure that my finger's in the way a little bit and that gives her an awareness, awareness of it and so she works around it like she's doing there now. She's trying everything to get this but not get my fingers. And that's a really good sign because she's trying not to. So she is learning. Good girl. And again, it's calmness. She's sitting here. She's not trying to rush out. It's nice and calm and she understands that. All right, so that's how I do the feeding and how I spread it out during the day and the types of things that I spread it across and the reasons why. So I hope that's helped. We'll see you in the next one.